Hey, there you go. 53 minutes. I love Meta Nightmare Ultra. It's so good. Very enjoyable. Ah, it stretched my limbs. So we should have unlocked the true arena now, I believe. Which is the last thing that we really need to do before I can say that I'm comfortable with this playthrough being over. Do I really want to go through the credits again? I mean, I want to watch the cutscene, I guess. We got about 20 minutes left. We're going to do a Helper to Hero. I'm not going to do True Arena yet today. Save that for later, because it's going to be hard. It is not easy to beat. I might even go so far as to say it takes a tiny bit of luck associated with it. Because it basically, the way it works is you have to fight, like, all of the bosses that are, like, Revenge of King DDD and onward. Including the final four. And if I remember correctly, the final four is Masked DDD. Who isn't that difficult? Then it's, um... Wham Bam Jewel, who also is not super difficult, but he isn't easy. And then uh, Galactonite, who is very hard, and then a stronger version of Marks, who is also very difficult. It really comes, and you also, you don't get maximum tomatoes. I think they give you five normal tomatoes, so you need to do it near perfectly. Really, you can't afford to take any damage. You pretty much have to do it flawlessly up, into, up until Galactonite. You take some damage against Galactonite, and then you can... Uh, then you use all the heals so that you can hopefully beat marks, is the way I see it. It is not easy. Not easy in the slightest. So, I wouldn't be surprised if I have to do an entire session of trying and failing that. And we still have more Helper to Hero to do, and we also have, uh, we have the Megaton Punch minigame, and then the other minigame that hasn't unlocked yet that I think is gonna unlock as soon as we do this. The Super Mario Club, pole to win, nice. But uh, I think definitely today we'll do more Helper to Hero, and then probably next session will be more Helper to Hero along with Megaton Punch and whatever the other minigame is. Because I don't want to do a session of just straight Helper to Hero unless I have nothing else to do. And then after that we'll start to mix it up with Helper to Hero and True Arena until we finish both of them. We only have to finish True Arena once because you just run through it with Kirby. And then uh, Helper to Hero will basically just finish with either all of the characters or as many characters for me to be satisfied. Because I really don't... It's really just the suplex, man. I feel like all the others, it's a matter of, like, a war of attrition. Like, as long as I put in the effort, I can win with, like, Bird and, uh, Stone. And Stone should actually not even be that hard. But I can win with, like, Bird and Mirror and Copy and all the other, like, more difficult-to-use ones. But it's really just, like, suplex, I feel like, is gonna be a nightmare to get through. Oh, he left his mask on the ground there. What are you doing, Meta Knight? People are gonna find out your secret identity. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, we're almost at the end now. Because there's the How Laboratory logo. What is that logo, by the way? Is that a dog in a nest with a bunch of eggs? Dogs don't lay eggs, Nintendo. What are you doing? But hey, we've done it. Meta Nightmare Ultra. Probably my favorite of all the game modes. Because I love playing as Meta Knight and spamming Mock Tornado. Hey, there he is. Look at all those fancy loop-de-loops. We out. Also, his sword is great. And more. Pretty sure it says and more because there's still one last thing to do, which is the true arena. The bonus movie, Fly Meta Knight, is now in the theater. Ooh, I like that. Special announcement, you can now play the nostalgic Samurai Kirby. Yo, Samurai Kirby is the minigame I was thinking of. That is the minigame that I love. So I can't wait to do that. And now we can play the true arena. The last battle, without a doubt, beat 10 tough foes, including the final four. All the new bosses are here. Beat them to be the true master. Yeah, you see the difficulty up there is not only seven stars, but they're all, like, bunched up together. But, uh, we're not going to be doing the true arena today. And nostalgic sub games. Is this the one I think it is? Press any button immediately when you see it. Yes, this is exactly what I thought it was. This is the one that I thought, uh... Kirby on the draw, or Kirby card swipe was going to be, was Samurai Kirby. That is my favorite. So we'll do that Megaton Punch next time, probably. But for now, we're going to try and knock out at least one more helper to hero. So let's do, again, someone who won't be very easy to win with, I feel like. Let's do, let's try attack. The copy power. How does your attack work? All right, yeah. Okay, I can charge it up for a Mega Punch. Is that all I got going for me? Steal, Cat Magnum, Discard Copy Ability, Tack Hide. Oh, that's cool. 
All right. I'm pretty sure that Tack can't actually copy any abilities. But I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure he can. But uh, having a Charge Blast actually should make this a lot easier. Does this make me invulnerable, by the way? It does. It's like being stoned. Okay, that is great. So this might actually be a lot easier than I thought. But I still feel like Suplex is going to be impossible unless they've done something to make him better. Ariel. Don't you dare dodge me ever again. Nope. None of that. I hate my range, but it is what it is, I guess. I really wish that I could just copy the hammer and then get through this with hammer. That would make it so easy. Because hammer is so incredibly good. That was lucky, by the way. Nothing but luck there. Copying suplex would be a nightmare, because then I'd just have to do that twice, and I don't even want to do it once. Nope. Goodbye. Alright, so far so good. We got through the first two. It's looking like Tack is going to be a bit easier of a time than I anticipated. Cracko is going to be a bit of a challenge because he's in the air. So I can't really rely on charge attack. Yeah. I don't think I can time it well enough. I wish I had a little bit more range. If I could have anything right now. No, no, no. Get him out of here. Don't ever dodge my attacks again, Cracko. Who do you think you are? Might have been an opportunity to try and get a charge attack off there, but I think we're doing plenty fine enough. So, just keep working with what works, to be honest. Almost got him. Almost got him. He's almost out of here. There we go. All right. We got past Cracko. So far, so good. I need to remember I have attack hide. I can be invulnerable if I need to. DDD. I can charge attack you because you're in the position, but as we all know, DDD is a lot easier to beat if you just spam normal attacks because it interrupts him consistently. Sorry, DDD. You know I had to do it to you. All right, Dinoblade. Another enemy that I can't charge attack on. I love the way attack walks on his tiptoes. It's so good. Let's get to work on you. Don't talk to me about that. I don't want to talk about it. We do so little damage to Dinoblade. This is going to be one of the more difficult bosses for attack. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right. I just need to take it a little more slow. Normally, my approach to bosses is beat them fast, because that way they don't have as much time to use their stronger moves, because obviously they use more moves and more difficult ones as time goes on. So if you kill them fast, then you're not in nearly as much danger. But, uh... That also runs the risk of getting sloppy if you go too quick. But we've almost... Dang it. We've almost got Dinoblade beat here, which is good. Get away from me. Come on. Just die. Just die. There we go. All right, sick. Got past Dinoblade. Taking a little more damage than I would have liked. I gotta remember my guard thing, man. I forgot it again. If I just hide and can't take damage, it's way better to do that. I really thought that I was out of range there. None but my own fault, but still. Alright, here we go. This is where most of my damage is going to come from. Is that right there. Yeah, we got a lot. A lot of damage. Very good. I was worried he would do the middle attack. Good, good. This attack actually charges really fast. This is bad. Yep. Yep, I was just in a horrible position and there wasn't a lot I could do about it. But it's fine because he's dead now. There we go. No more fatty whale. This is going way better than I anticipated, although I am a little low on HP. Uh, I think I can get through Camellia Arm. I'm the one in the art for this one, so I should have this in the bag. Should be able to get through Camellia Arm on this amount of HP. And then, uh, it is nice that the tax attack comes back, so if you just barely miss, then it can hit on the rebound. Um, but he's already going invisible. I don't like that. Oh, no. Alright, so far so good. So far so good. We're doing it. We're doing it. Stop dodging. See, look at that. He jumped over it, but it came back. There we go. Beat Camellia Arm. Probably time to take one of those Max Tomatoes, just to be safe. I think that we can make it the rest of the way. Because that also gives us access to one of the small tomatoes to use if I need it. The real big deal is just making sure I have one maximum tomato left over when I get to Wham Bam Jewel. Because I need to be at full health for him, because that's basically two bosses in a row. Alright, so far so good. 
If I could also just never get hit again and, you know, no worries at all, that would be great. I'm noticing with using Tack and uh, using Waddle Do earlier, Beam Boy, uh, when you try to spam charge attacks, there's some delay sometimes that, like, you start holding B again to start charging, but you clicked B too soon after your attack went out, so it doesn't, like, recognize it, so you don't start charging yet. This could be a problem. Because, uh, I don't think I'm doing damage fast enough. Actually, no, I'm doing fine. I was gonna say we might run the risk of them getting into, like, their full-on attacks. I really thought that that would just narrowly miss me. Don't talk to me about that. Also, I have the defense thing, and I keep forgetting. I can just defend through this, can I? Yeah. Just, just keep defending through all of this. I gotta remember that, especially when I'm, uh, when I play as Rock. When I play as Rocky, I've gotta remember that I can go invulnerable whenever I want. Alright. What do we got? We've got Heavy, Heavy Lobster. Almost said the name wrong. Get through Heavy Lobster, and then we've just got, uh... Who do we have left? Meta Knight? No, Meta Knight isn't next. Next is the computer virus. So as long as I take, like, no damage on you here, then I'm good. And it looks like I'm not going to. There we go. Alright. We have more than enough health to defeat the, uh, the computer virus. And then we have a maximum tomato that we can eat before we fight Meta Knight. And then we have one more maximum tomato to eat before Wham Bam. So we're at the perfect position. Alright, our charge does uh, 56 total. That's decent. As long as I do over 50, I'm pretty okay with it. That might actually be better. That was so rapid fire. I want to see how much damage that does outside of uh, when he's petrified. It does 12 per hit. So, two. how much does a charge attack do again? I, I'm bad at math. I got 64 damage there. I think one charge attack, because I can have it charged up ahead of time, and then spam attack is the way to go. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I got 76 that time. That's the way to do it. One charge, then uh, spam. So easy. Man, I'm good. Give me first hit on the dragon. I dare you. Do it. Give me first hit. Give me first hit. Let's go. Dude, it's so good. Tack is actually the the computer virus champion. You know what I've just realized? Like, whenever it's his turn to attack, can't I just do this and be A-OK? -okay? Okay, yeah, this is actually OP. Never mind. I thought the tack would be difficult to win as. Turns out I was horribly wrong. It is super easy to win as tack. We've had, like, no trouble at all so far. Is there actually, like, no downside to using that technique? If I just do this, am I completely invulnerable as long as I'm holding the button? That seems a little broken. But whatever, I'll take it. I didn't even eat the tomato, even though I should have. There's no reason not to. Let's go, Meta Knight. Gotta take you down, buddy. Tag me, I dare you. Can't touch this. I pressed the button too late. All right, you know what? Don't, don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. I was getting cocky. Let's not get cocky. Let's ensure that we do not lose to Meta Knight. Because Meta Knight can do a lot of damage really fast if he wants to. Oh, like right here where I should have dodged out of the way, but I didn't. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right. That was unnecessarily dangerous. <laughs> I shouldn't have goofed off that much against him. Heal me up. Yeah, please. Thank you. All right. Wham bam jewel. Let's do this. Let's do this. Well, this isn't the jewel yet, but we're getting there. Get the charge attack on these. And then, yeah, try and throw out another hit immediately. That's really good. Oh, yeah, a charge hit and then a normal hit? That's great. I thought I'd get a third hit there. Whatever. Still good. Still good. What's next? Palm? Yep. I gotta remember these, man. I gotta remember the way these combos work. Then it's grab, and then it's a fist, which I should have been hit by, to be completely honest, but I got lucky. Okay, I didn't get hit, so I'm okay with that. I should kill him here. Yep, there we go. All right. Wham Bam Jewel. Let's do it. Time to get our win as copy. This is gonna be our first win straight through, where we don't die once and then have to start again. You know, assuming I don't lose. Here. Dang it, I'm not getting the second hit, but it's fine. Damage is damage. Next is... Oh, laser beam. Okay. 
Nice, nice. Really good damage output. There's the grab. Rocket fist. Got a hit on it too, which is great. Double, huh? What's next? The raw the words walk? No, it's this. Ow. That's fine. I'm fine with taking damage there. The triple. Okay. He's bulkier than the other one. I don't think I'm going to kill him here, but he's going to be really close. Oh, so close. Walk across. Yep, you're done. We've done it. In just under 10 minutes, too. Not bad. Second place. Seven seconds slower than Blade Knight. Nice. Well, you have it. I don't think I have enough time. I've got like five minutes. You know what? We can probably run through it as bonkers. Because bonkers will be done in like seven minutes or something. Let's go. We're going to try it. I wanted to save bonkers for even later on since it's going to be the easy win. But this seems like the right thing to do for the sake of the video. Easy win. And this means that we'll have gotten three of these done today. Three uh, helper to heroes done. Which I will be very pleased with. But yeah, we're going to get bonkers on the top of the speedrun charts here. And then he's never leaving. Because hammer is just the strongest ability in the game. Bum, ba -da -bum. Strongest ability in the game that isn't like insta-kill moves, you know what I mean? Can I hit you like this with fire? Nope. Unfort. Which means this is gonna take a little bit longer, but not by much. Dude, hammer is like, it needs nerfed. Someone push an update for Kirby Superstar Ultra on the Nintendo DS. Because in less than a minute, I've slaughtered three bosses. Take that, DDD. Yeah, that was kind of expected, but I think it's worth it to kill you in like four hits. I've killed four bosses in less than a minute, game. This is too good. Bonkers is too powerful. The fire hammer is really... Well, not even the fire hammer. Even if you took away the fire hammer, like, look at how much damage I do in a single hit. It's still too much. I'm too strong. I've beaten five bosses in a minute and four seconds. This is insane. Bonkers is too powerful. He needs a nerf. Pliss nerf. Imagine if they put him in Smash Bros. or Overwatch or something. I'm in, a, I'm in a little bit of a bad spot against Fatty Whale, I've just realized, because there's not really, like, very good opportunities to hit him with a uh, Fire Hammer. Ah, oh, there we go. That was a lot of damage right there. So, yeah, this is the one that's going to cost us the most time, but whatever. If I can time this right. Yeah, there we go. Gets me hit, but he's as good as dead. Ariel. Honestly, I think Fatty Whale is going to be the most difficult fight in this entire thing for Bonkers. Because Fatty Whale just is a boss that actually does really well against the Fire Hammer. And I know what you're thinking. I've taken a... Uh, I've taken a, um... Whatchamacallit earlier in Bonkers run than any other ever. But I'm telling you, it's just because Fatty Whale is the perfect counter to the Hammer. Not even really a counter, because I still won, but it's just, I take the most damage against Fatty Whale. Now I'm going to, like, just go back to slaughtering everyone in one or two hits. Not one or two, obviously, but very easily is what I meant. I, I'm i mad that I missed my fire hammer on you at the start, but whatever. All right, this is Jumpy Boy. Yeah, I hate you. There we go. Nothing more satisfying than one-shotting that fool. I really wish you would have died to that. There we go. Nice. Also nice. Just die. Yep. Easy. We've done it. Dude, Bonkers is unstoppable. We're gonna be done in like five minutes. This is insane. Two hit? Two hit. That's dumb. I didn't mean to do the spin there. I also didn't want to take damage, but whatever. Goodbye. This is stupid. <laughs> Bonkers is too strong, man. He actually needs a nerf. I can't believe I timed that right. I know I took damage, but... The only time I take damage is bonkers is when I want to take damage to do, like, way more damage back. There we go. Just gotta find the sweet spot for hitting the fire hammer and it's over. Goodbye. This damage means nothing to me. I'm gonna obliterate the computer virus. I don't even need to heal. Save my heal for when I go up against Meta Knight and then, uh, wham bam. How much damage does this do? 60? Doesn't fire attack do 60? Fire hammer, I mean. Can't touch this. This is where we're going to lose the most of our time, actually, because uh, it does like 80. That's stupid. This is where we're going to lose the most time, because we have to wait for the text to go through and all. Nice. 
Can I get two? You can get two if you're really fast. 160, that's insane. I don't even need to fire hammer now. I can just kill you normally. But I'm gonna fire hammer for style. Give me first hit. Give me first hit. Even if I mess up and I only hit one, like 80 damage is still more than it, like any other of my heroes have ever done, ever. One more. Got him. Dude, this is insane. We're actually gonna finish like sub five minutes. It might actually take us a little more than a minute to get by Wham Bam Jewel because it just takes so long to- Why didn't I take a tomato? Why do I keep doing this? I did this with tack too and it almost cost me. Good starting hit. Oh, I didn't turn. Ow. That worked in my favor somehow. I'm being pretty dumb right now, but it worked. I'm trying to do it fast now because I actually want to get like sub five minutes, but I'm not going to get sub five because it takes so... I can't hit Wham Bam except for when he brings down his fist. So, the fact that kind of slows me down. I'm going to be sub 530 though, I think. I don't think it'll take me more than a minute to beat him. I also run into the trouble of getting close enough to Fire Hammer usually leads me open to being hit by his hand opening back up like that right there. Almost. Alright, that went incredibly fast. I can't even say the word. It went so fast. Yeah, we're not going to get sub five minutes, but this is still going to be an insanely good time. Nice. Look at that, he's almost dead already. That was dumb. I should have just normal attacked. I knew I wouldn't be fast enough. I thought he'd do the laser beam instead of that, but whatever. I also shouldn't have been hit there, but too little too late. That caught me? I didn't think he'd catch me. Don't throw. Don't throw. Just be calm and wait. I know you want your time, but be calm and wait. Got him. There. Explode. Give me 530. Give me 530. No, 531. He didn't explode fast enough. Whatever. 531 is a fantastic time. I'll take it. Hey, there we go. About four minutes over an hour. A bit longer than I like usually, but that's fine. So we've got Parasol done. We've got Blade Knight. Look at this nice little diagonal I did by mistake. Copy done, which I thought Copy would be one of the harder ones. It was actually pretty easy. Blade is done. Beam is done. I think next time I definitely want to do either Ninja or Bird, because those two are going to be pretty difficult. And then probably either Chili or Burning Leo. Next time, next session is going to be a lot of Helper to Hero. We're going to try and knock out like four of them maybe, get four of them done if I can, and then also do Megaton and maybe Samurai. We'll see. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. There's not much more to go. We've got a few more Helper to Heroes. I say a few more, but more like, you know, 15 more or something like that. Quite a few more Helper to Heroes, the true arena, and then the two minigames. So we're getting near the end. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. And until then, farewell.